Hey guys, this is Jonathan Gardner. So, I did a poll to see what my viewers wanted, and a good third of you said that you wanted to watch an hour-long video of me bumbling around. Uh, another third wanted me to do math and stuff. And another third wanted me to put out like 30-minute videos. I, I think what I'm gonna do is I'll, I'll put out these hour-long videos, and then I'll put kind of summary videos with with like what I'm learning as I play this game. And, and uh, the hour video will be just gameplay. And then the summary videos will kind of explain like what I understand about that hour of, that I just did. So basically I'll record an hour video, then I'll record a 10 minute video kind of explaining what I learned. So with that, um, let's go ahead and start a new game. Um, so I've been doing Rocky Desert a lot. I understand this Rocky Desert very well. I did grass fields for a bit. Um, anyway, Rocky Desert is where I want to do this. So this is going to be, let's call this the official season one. And uh, just a reminder that this is an early access game. They're constantly changing it and updating it. So some, if you're seeing this video in the future, like right now it's March of 2019. If you're seeing this video in the future, some of the stuff might've changed. Like the graphics might've changed or some of the gameplay might've changed. So be sure to check out the latest videos. Um, I think Satisfactory is a game that I'm gonna stick with. I'm gonna do quite a bit in this and um, you know, go really in deep into the math and everything Attention of how it works pioneer. and kind of optimal gameplay. And we can kind of learn together about how to really do well. Anyway, this intro scene is kind of nice. If you haven't seen it before, if you're thinking of getting the game, this kind of sets the tone of the game. Project assembly. Use provided blueprints to build the necessary buildings. Chart the planet and gather resources to provide desired results and so, improve your infrastructure. Unlike Factorio, sure this game exploration is really important. For so in Factorio, you're just discovering like where resources are, like where you can get more coal or iron or stuff like that. In Expand this game, you actually have to and pipelines through automation uh, explore and to unlock technologies. So there's lots of things to discover. There's several things that That's are obviously it. early Get access. And be effective. Um, like basically previews Warning. of things to come. Anyway, Please here we go. Remain seated during full procedure. Atmospheric right. entry in five, four, I have a critique three, for two, the developers. One. If I'm falling with my bottom towards the earth or the planet, then I should be massively decelerating. There should be a massive force felt in the downward direction. Right, because I have to wait. I have to slow down, so something has to push up on me. I want to feel pulled to the bottom of the pod. So this strap on that that lat there, that should be pointing down. It shouldn't be pointing up. Okay, and you can see they get it right at the very last stage of the landing here. This is just a minor critique. It's just something that you know my physics background is screaming at me. So, yeah, you can see it falls down there as we enter gravity. Basically, what's happening is I'm slowing down. Like when you're in an elevator and you're you're going towards that bottom. When you're, when you're hitting your floor from the top, you feel your weight increase because you're slowing down. And re-entry would be much more extreme than an elevator, but that's kind of the idea. Also, the journey from the Earth, the, the atmosphere to here would take longer than a few seconds. So, you would not hit the ground this quickly. It would take a lot longer to get down. Remember, efficiency first. Godspeed. Okay, so I haven't unlocked all, I think, six tiers or five tiers of technology. I've done, like, most of four, and I started playing with five. So I don't know everything that's coming, but uh, I, Planet Massage 2, a, I will B, tell you some important things. Sector in you want to harvest system of this, these barrel nuts, as much I as you can. Also known as Why is my keyboard not working? I won't let me. You in Let's their... enter. Okay. Okay, what am I... Won't let First me do anything. objective... Please dismantle the drop pod. Sure, press F, dismantle it. It's, you're gonna be using F a lot. Okay. Second object. Okay, so press tab to open your inventory. Let's equip this guy. You can, shift click, you can drag it. I, I prefer shift click. Um, one thing to note is when the inventory is open, please familiarize yourself with the, the resource. The game doesn't stop. Iron. So you note, have to be careful about that. Make sure you're ready before you encounter creatures. The creatures are fairly tame on this planet. They're not going to attack you out of the blue. You just have to be aware of where you're at and stuff, and they won't this attack you. This consumable possesses minor healing properties. Yeah. Okay. Further analysis. Yeah, that's those consumables are pretty important. You don't regenerate health naturally. You have to have the consumables. So those barrel nuts, you need to collect them. There's a couple other things you need to collect. Later on, you can unlock the medical inhaler, which apparently heals all your hit points. 
and you you construct that with a combination of all of the consumables so there's like four different types of consumables all right so resources uh early on you just want to grab as many weeds and wood as you can don't don't go out of your way to get them all but towards you know okay c you press c it'll ping and there's a couple iron deposits on this desert world i'm gonna head out here this is the iron that i want over there okay so on the way there i'm just gonna collect resources so i don't have to go back and collect these later uh, leaves wood is especially good um, this planet they claim it's a desert planet and Initial sure enough yes yeah, one of these barrel nuts properties in the flower petals further analysis required. okay and I'll just kind of walk through the weeds and just grab stuff as I go there's some more nuts over there I'm gonna miss now let's grab these guys okay there's some more nuts over there I just want to stock up on these they're gonna be useful we're, we're actually gonna use them I'm not that good at combat. I'm good at building stuff and doing the math behind everything. So let's ping again. It kind of leaves a shadow on your, yeah, right here. This is basically where we're at. This is, um, whoa, what was that? Why did it say? Yeah, it's right here. Okay, so there's two iron deposits here. Um, and what you can do, okay, these guys are gonna attack. There's, I think four of them and they, they like to circle around behind you. And they like to attack you from behind. So I, I, what I do is I back away as they're coming. There's one behind me right now, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah, and they, they hurt. They're hard to hit. I just, they stay out of your range. It's like they know your attack patterns. This is one of those things that make your life miserable and they're hard to get. There's two more out there somewhere. Yeah, collect the leaves and stuff. Oh, more barrel nuts. Okay, let's ping. I've kind of lost my bearings. It's over here, isn't it? Yeah. And they kind of hang around the area they are at. So listen for the sound they make. There, there's one right here. There, I got lucky. Did I have to hit it twice or something? There, okay. I think that's it. I don't hear any more. This thing is good to have. Um, it doesn't really do Studying much. Studying the remains of this creature might shed light on yeah. how to Okay, it's, it, when you pick up something interesting, it's going to say, oh, you need to research that. You can't research it until you get to a certain area, and we'll explain that when you get there. So just hold on to it for now. Okay, we're going to get some iron. Fourth objective. You want to mine this thing Build until it disappears. Note. If to you know each, each stroke, or every three strokes, gives you six. Will be consumed. And then Caution. you're going to go over here and do this. Ensure the hub is built on spacious open terrain okay, let's do this one now. Okay, now they want you to build the hub. Failure to do so will likely result in non-optimal progress. Yeah. So let's go build the hub. Um, I have played around with different locations for the hub. I think right here is one of the best locations to start off. It There's just enough room to build stuff around it, and I'm going to move the hub later on. And there's, like, lots of things here. You're going to need these leaves eventually. Just collect them. Okay, they're, they don't take up that much inventory space, and it's not an issue. Okay, there we go. Okay, now let's build the hub. So you press Q, uh, you click the hub, and then just plop it down wherever. It doesn't. It really doesn't matter. Okay. All right. So we're going to craft some things. You go over here. This is this is your friend. Yeah. Feature. Okay. So you're gonna click on this thing, and you're gonna select tier. You're gonna select the hub, and you're gonna select milestone down here, and it's gonna put up here what you need. So we need ten iron rods. So this is what we're gonna do. We're just gonna go here. We're gonna create iron ingots. We just need 10 of them because each iron ingot takes each iron rod takes an ingot. So let's make 10 of these guys. And you just want to burn through this research as quickly as you poss as possibly can. Okay, so let's go here. I'm going to shift click. There we go. All done. It upgrades. And then we get the next one. And okay, that's fine. Hit. It's going to hit some mad. Okay, I, press, I pressed enter to stop that. And hub upgrade two. We're going to start that. This is when you can start actually building stuff. So I think, I think, yeah, you can build a smelter. Um, I don't recommend building the smelter quite yet. Um, let's put the barrel nuts, let's put the, the dies in there in the carapace. We're not gonna use those. These two guys, uh, we actually gonna use those for, for power. I prefer to hold onto the wood. The wood, I'll, you'll, you'll find out why later, but for now. I don't know if you can create biomass yet. Let's see if you can actually. I don't think at level two you can do it. No, you can't. It comes later. Okay, so we have power, and frankly, I don't want to consume. Like, one of the things that confused me first about this game is is you look at this thing and it's burning, right? 
So you think, oh, it's consuming resources. The truth is it's not. It's not doing anything. It's just deceptive animation. It's, you can't trust the animations. You have to know what's actually going on. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we want to do the next level. So the next level was 10 iron plates, 10 iron rods, and 50 copper. So we need to go get some copper. And I think at this point I will build portable miners. So to do that, and this confused the heck out of me first time I played. Okay, so we want to build this equipment workshop. And it says, yeah, you're missing a bunch of stuff. So what we do is I'm going to press this little plus sign. And it's going to bring up like a recipe here. So I need six iron plates and six iron rods. Okay, so I know iron plates takes two iron ingots. And iron rods take one. So I need uh, six times two plus six is 18. So let's make 18 of these guys. And there's a couple places you can see. There's the 18. Now we're going to build six of these. And then six of these. I should have done the iron rods first or whatever. I don't, it doesn't matter. Okay. You'll be crafting a lot of these. Okay. So let's build our equipment workshop. And just I just built it really close. Just right here. That's good. Okay. And then you go in here. And this is what you want to do. You want to grab this portable miner. And you want to build these guys. So I'm going to right click and say add to do list. And I actually want two of these guys. Okay. I could build more. But I don't think it's optimal. One of these is going to go onto the copper and one of these is going to go onto the iron the copper is a bit of a hike away so you want to be able to make your trip worth it each time you go so we're gonna make two of these guys and we do need copper to make this guy okay so let's just let's actually go get the copper right now okay let's go get the copper the copper's over here hold down c copper ore. it's going to happen here each of the maps these aren't randomly generated obviously um I am looking forward to a free play version where you can just do like in Factorio. And you just, this is like more like the missions of Factorio. Except it keeps building on itself. So it's over here. And I'm going to actually buff up my health here. That's not really buff. It's just restore my health. So, okay, now here we go. Okay, let's go ahead and just collect things that are in the way. You see that? We have another one of these guys to fight. I hate these guys. They're so annoying. Well, here we go. I'm going to charge in, shift, run, and see if I can kill a couple... I got one. There, I got another, but that, I guess it takes two hits. I'm dying. Duh, I'm gonna hit you. Holy cow. You're so annoying. There's the two down, one more. Or was there? That's it. These guys are so annoying. Okay, another alien car carapace. Let's just go ahead and mine this out. I don't know how much. Let's see, 16 weight cable wire. It, it doesn't take that much copper ore. We're just going to grab whatever this thing gives until it disappears. All right, let's go take this back to base. You can see on the map there's a home base there. And uh, t try to take a different path so you can get more leaves and stuff. You just want to get all this junk. It's just, if, if it's on the way, just pick it up. You don't want to have to go out hunting for this. Later on, you can get a chainsaw, and that, that's when you can really bring the biomass. And people say you should rush coal. I don't agree with that. I don't think it's... I, the biofuel is really good, okay? You can last quite a while in just the biofuel alone. Okay, so now we need to make some copper wire. So we make the ingots here. Each, each copper wire takes one ingot makes three. So it'll tell you how many you can make there. And we need 16... Uh, plus 50, so let's go ahead and make like 66 or something like that, whatever. You know, here we go, that, that's plenty. Okay. Later on we'll need cable when we try to wire things up. Oh, I do need cable for the portable miner. So let's make that, I guess. There's eight of those. I have the wire. I, I need more wire for uh, the upgrade. Let's just go ahead and do that right now. So we need 50 wire total. I don't know where my wire is. There's 53. So I want 66. There, that's plenty. Okay. Now I need uh, 10 plates and 8 plates. So 18. Let's make a bunch of ironing. Let's make them all. Let's just hold down the button here. And, and they want you to build a smelter this time. But, you know, I don't think burning... You want to burn biomass. You don't want to burn the leaves and the wood. Okay. That's just, you know, common sense. You get a lot more energy out of the biomass than you do out of the leaves and the wood. So I don't want to waste it. So I'm going to wait till I get biomass before I start consuming electricity. Okay, that's all of it. We can get some more later very easily. We don't need to set up a miner quite yet. Okay, so 8 plus 10 is 18. Okay, there we go. And the iron rod is... We're going to need 10. Okay, so we can go ahead and do the research. 
So let's drop, shift click that, shift click that, shift click that. There we go. Okay, excellent. Let's drop off the biomass. There's another carapace. New parts, new, okay, whatever, yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. You have unlocked scanner stone. New buildings and blueprints, which can be found in the build yeah, menu and craft bench, respectively. Yeah, I can make biomass. Let's Seventh biomass objective, now. hub upgrade, conveyor belts. Note, okay. use power poles to expand the power network for optimal results. Note, constructors are capable of constructing copious parts, of which only one type at a time. That's not true. The, the constructors are very slow. Compared to pocket crafting, like in Factorio, Pocket crafting is, is okay, but crafting in the factories is much more important. It's much better. So we're gonna take the biomass. We're gonna stick the biomass in these guys because we're not even using power. Now we have biomass, we shall use power. So go ahead and stick that in there. Biomass, important stuff. You really don't need that much. Um, I, I was worried that I'd keep running out of biomass and one of the first things I did when I first played through is I made a factory to make biomass and to make biofuel because I was so concerned about it. It's not something to be concerned about. You can pocket craft this stuff all day long. Only later when you actually have time for it and, and attention span, go ahead and do that. But for now, just pocket craft it. Just creating that little thing. Let's make our miners, our two miners. These are gonna be important. Actually, I wanted a third one. I wanna make another one. So right click and add to do-do list. Let's make another one. I'm hitting escape. Why is it not escape? There it goes. I was hitting wrong key, I guess. Okay, so we need uh, four plates. Uh, yeah, we're gonna need some more iron. So we go over here and we tab, shift click that, put it on my hands, and we drop it down. Oh, there's Doggo. Hello, Doggo. In the previews, people called this lizard Doggo. So now it's called petting doesn't do anything. He likes to have treats. Right, and apparently he'll follow you around if you have food in your hand. I think he likes the berries that I haven't had yet. Anyway, these miners, because these are such rich uh, patches, they will quickly, quickly mine that up for you. You don't have to mine anything. So I probably already have, look at that, I already have 38 of that stuff. So it's ridiculously fast. Okay, I'm gonna build another miner and then go out to the, the concrete. Actually, I should just go right now to the concrete. Let's just go do that right now. Let's start the concrete. So, um, concrete's an important resource too. So as we travel, we, it's, oh, I, I know where it is already, but hey, limestone. You're gonna need, a, you're gonna need a lot of concrete. And that's probably one of the first things you wanna automate is, is this. Um, the more cement you have, the happier you're gonna be. That's just, I, I've never had a situation where I said, oh, I have too much cement. I've always said like, oh, I wish I had more cement. You know, so you want as much cement as you can get. Okay, let's go ahead and mine this out. This is actually not a pure. I think it's a normal. Which means the miners won't get as much, but in the early game it doesn't matter. Maybe later on it becomes more important, but... You know, I haven't built a factory yet where I'm like, Oh, I need more limestone. I'm always limited by iron. Iron is the king resource. Copper, limestone, all that kind of stuff is just kind of secondary. Wow, it's getting a lot of limestone. There we go. I got really lucky there. Now let's go ahead and put a miner down. And just plop it down there. There we go. And he's going to mine up. We can come back later and get some more if we need it. Uh, which we will. Because head back to base. I could go up there and explore. I'm not going to do it, though. All right, build constructors. Build power poles. Expand production to upgrade faster. Yeah, that's not quite true. I think you upgrade faster if you do it by hand. So... You can see I'm just kind of half-heartedly collecting the leaves. Oh, wait, this is good. Bacon agric is good. It's this a health consumable thing. Yeah. It. You can read all about that when you get it. Um, it's one of the four that's required for medical inhalers, so you want to collect those. Now let's go ahead and just plop that in there. And the leaves that we got and the wood. And Okay, so we are going to make another portable miner. So we need iron plates. We need four of those. I didn't even start the... Okay, I need to go over here and say what's next. Hub upgrade, select milestone. Okay, so they want 10 bags of concrete, stuff like that. We can, we can do that. And 75 iron plates. Again, it's probably faster just to hold the button down. Um, wire, and we need cable. Four of those. 
Okay, now we need some wire as well. Okay, we can have another portable miner. Let's grab that. Okay, let's go drop this off at the copper. So when we go back, let's actually grab a 10 stack of iron right here. A full iron stack. All right, let's grab that all. There, let it mine some more. And again, it very quickly will build up a, a hundred. It doesn't cost any power. You just have to wait for it. Uh, unfortunately, you can't automate it. Automation is really, without belts, it's like, what, what are you doing? You know? So, I, I like to think about it like time is one of the resources that you have here. And so the question is, is it faster to build a factory and then use the factory to build stuff? Or is it factory faster just to do it in your, in your hands? Or with the station? And the answer is the station is faster. At some point, you're like, okay, a factory would be faster. And I think this might be the point where I... Like, reinforce plates for an upgrade? Really? This early in the game? Okay, whatever. Whatever. Um, I do need copper, though. I don't think I have copper. I have a little bit of copper. But this one is also a pure resource, so I can grab it very quickly. Yeah, this is pure. So it, it mines this stuff up ridiculously fast. No. So just wait a minute, get all you need. I don't need that much. Let's go back to base. You know, at this point of the game, you could start exploring if you wanted to. You can explore anytime, it doesn't matter. Um, later on, there's a weapon you can get. There's a bolt gun, which I haven't actually built or used yet, but I want to try it out. And there's the, um, you get like a sword. It's pretty cool. And the chainsaw is useful for trees. It doesn't do anything to the animals, which is, which was depressing. I was hoping chainsaw would be better, but it's not. They don't want you hacking people to pieces with chainsaws for some reason in this game. I don't know what that is about. Okay, so we need like 75 iron plates. 10 bags of cement. I can do that like really quick. Let's just convert it all. No reason to have any sitting around. Oh, it's divisible by three. It'll all go away. Yay. Uh, reinforced plates requires... Um, this is important for building the automation stuff. Uh, probably we will build smelters. I think smelters is wise because it takes a long time to smelter stuff. Let's do that actually. Let's build a, let's build a smelter. Let's build two for one for copper, one for. No, let's build two for iron. We're gonna we're gonna do this. So iron rod and wire. Excuse me. Iron rod and wire. Now let's get some wire going here. And we need, we need a couple of cables. Uh, maybe more than that. And then we're going to need iron rods, 10 of those. Yeah, we need some iron ingots for that. The smelters, I think, make sense early on. All right, let's go build ourselves some smelters. And I'm just going to build them. Let's just build them right here. So smelters. So I should be able to build two of these guys. Let's rotate it around. Not that it matters at this point in the game, but later on it will. And hold control to line them up together, make them look nice. And then we need a power pole to, and power poles are kind of tricky. They, they take a while to get used to uh, the math. These can only connect to four other power poles. And he'll connect over here. They actually reach quite a ways, much longer than you probably expect. So now they just need, and again, we're not using any power until we drop in the iron ore. And now it's using power, okay? Let's go over here. Let's take all that. Actually, I want to put the 24 back there. I just want a stack of 100. I don't want to carry extra iron ore anymore. And we're going to take you, make iron ore, and drop in 100. So they make 30 per minute. We're making one iron ingot per second now with those two guys, which is good. Let's focus on copper for a minute here. Um, I want to make sure I have everything. So was there anything else I wanted to build at this time? No, I think we're just going to focus on iron. So let's go ahead and just spend our time doing the copper here. Let's make some wire too. Why not? Copper only ends up being used for wire anyway. I think there's some weird recipes you can get if you explore around and get stuff. So, And we're going to need a lot more cables than we think. Let's go ahead and drop off stuff. We don't have to carry it around with us. We can drop it off. Reinforced plates. Um, again, this is going to take 
So we need two of those, so we need eight iron plates. And then we're gonna need screws, uh, 48 screws, which require iron rods. So let's go ahead and take some, there we go. We already got 50 of these guys, right? Just sitting around doing nothing, we got 50 of those. And let's go ahead and craft some plates. It's so much faster to craft by hand. It's just ridiculous. I'm gonna go get some more plates. Uh, smeltering by hand, not so much, but crafting by hand, absolutely. So he's already full, let's grab some more. Hopefully this guy's already used half. So we're gonna shift left click to fill it up, take those plates, and shift left click to fill it up, take those plates. You want some more? Yeah, you do. I know you want it, take it, take it, there we go. All right, so we have 34 more plates. And let's get some iron rods so we can get some screws going. We need quite a bit of screws for the reinforced plate. The the ones that build stuff take reinforced plate, so they're really annoying. It's gonna take a while to get the 75 plates, and I'm tempted, I'm very tempted to go, go ahead and build the constructor. Um, let's do it. Let's do it. I, I, I think that it's not going to make a huge difference, but, you know, we'll do it anyway. I think we're missing screws. Yeah, we were. Okay, so now we can build it. And we're going to connect up the last connection there. And we're going to put in here all of the iron ingots to make iron plates, which I don't have any iron ingots. Should be able to. I should grab more ore and then, you know. I don't like carrying around ore, so I should do this. I should grab the ore, put the ore in here, grab the plates, put the ore in here, grab the plates, the ingots, and then put the ingots in here. Okay. This always freaks me out. That that freaks me out. I'm sorry. All right, so let's go ahead and I'm, I'm grabbing too many, too much ore. I don't need more ore. I have plenty of ore. And you can see this isn't really that much faster than crafting by hand. It's fairly labor intensive, which is, I mean, I made five plates, congratulations. So while it's making plates, I'm gonna go make a bunch of plates. I don't have any ingots though, do I? I could make iron ingots from the ore. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll just, you know, might as well build these things while we wait. There's really not much else to do right now. Let's just build it. Oh, there is a limit because you only have one biomass burner. I think it's 20 megawatts. And so let's do some math here. So this guy, he's producing 20 megawatts. He has 12. There's capacity for eight more megawatts. And again, if they're not running, they don't use any power at all. Uh, this guy, these guys are using four megawatts. So eight megawatts between these two. I think this guy uses uh, four megawatts, so 12 megawatts here. I can have up to five machines running at once. And I don't know, I think I wanna do copper. No, I want more iron. Let's, let's make some more smelters. Let's make two more smelters. I think I can smelter with two mining. I need iron rods. That's what I need. I think if I had two mining drills and then I'm running, because so the mining drills will produce one per second, right? One ore per second each one. These guys will burn one every two seconds. And so I can just barely keep like four smelters satisfied if I if I really focus on it, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and let's build it, uh, two more smelters. And that'll be the capacity of the, the biomass. And then I also want to build a mining thing here. Let's right click, say add to do list. And so we need to get these resources going. So I need 10 iron rods. Iron rods take a long time to build. I just, I just build them by hand for this beginning part. I need, uh, I got the wire, I got the plates. I need some cable, so just, there we go. That's probably plenty, and we need cable for connections as well. So portable miner, make that guy. Let's make the two smelters. Uh, smelter. Let's build another one. I'm holding down control to try to line it up. There we go. There we go. 
And that's that's the total capacity. So we're, now at this point, what I'm going to do is build. Uh, it is missing iron rod. Let's go get an iron rod. Let's get a couple iron rods because I don't want to keep coming back here. All right, there we go. So we are going to do power pole here. We're going to disconnect this one. We're going to go down. All right, and let's drop down the other portable miner. Let's tap this is the button I wanted to press. Let's go over here to the other iron patch, which is right here. I can see some barrel nuts hiding up in the corner. I don't need barrel nuts right now. Okay, so now we are going to populate these smelters as best as we can. Take all the iron ore. Take all of that and put that in there. Take all of that and put that in there. Let's give this guy something to do. Take the plates and put the ingots in. As many ingots as will fit. Is that iron ore? That is. Okay, so we actually have not enough iron ore. So once we get working here, I don't have any iron ore now. I could do the copper ingots, but I think the iron ore is more important. Let's go collect everything here. We should be mining and smeltering at the same speed, right? So if I keep myself busy, I should be able to just keep up. Let's actually start from the other end this time. So we go ahead and put the iron ore. Let's put half in. Okay, let's put you in there, grab that, and put that in there. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab there's Doggo in the background. Grab all that. Keep myself busy just moving iron ore because we don't have belts yet. At least I don't think we do. No, we don't have belts yet. I, I you know if if I were designing this game, I would start with factories and belts. That would be like the core experience, right? So you should start I understand why game developers hesitate to do stuff like that. It's overwhelming, but I think having you start building like 75 plates without, what do we got? We got 112 plates now, so we're actually good to go. I did not grab the ingots from this guy. Let's go, let's go. Okay, so we're basically good to go. We can go ahead and pass off the next one. I think we get belts after this. So this is time for belts. So we are going to, oh, we need the two reinforced plates. So let's just click on this until we get two. There we go, there's two, let's make that. And then we need the uh, iron plates. We got 75, we should be good to go. We should be good to go. Okay, so we put that in there, that in there, and we press the button. Okay, that's done. Let's go ahead and shift right, right, enter, so we don't have to watch the tutorial. Build conveyor belts. Uh, buildings have inputs and outputs for conveyor belts. Craft biomasses and improved. Uh, craft biomass. What is it? Can I create a. I could do wood biomass, you know, but. Uh, yeah, we're using biomass. I want to use biofuel, is what I want to use. That's what I want to really craft. Okay, so at this point, I don't know if we have another. No, we don't. We can only use this guy. He's running at capacity if, if everything was populated properly. Uh, let's go ahead and throw that in there. Okay, so. Oh, what's the next goal? I should put the next goal into the Next select mission. We're doing 33 minutes. We're already doing pretty good. Um, oh, let's connect up some belts. Uh, let's actually build some miners. So we want to build. We can't build miners. So what's the point of belts? It makes no sense, right? Until until we get miners, like why have belts? Okay. So I'm just gonna do the thing that I was doing because I can't. I can't uh, see what I want to do is the plates are the thing that I want to automate right now. I don't want to automate screws. Or, there's really nothing else to automate. Maybe cable, you know, uh, because you have the ingots that you can make into cable. Uh, plates, sure, you know, plates might be nice to have. You know, so this is. I, I'm sure that the game is going to change and evolve as time goes on. You know, hey, let's put some. Uh, let's grab these plates and put some ingots in there. Let's fill that up with ingots. Grab those ingots, and that's all the iron ore that I have. Okay, let's go back and grab some more. Grab all that. That's 45. Grab all that. That's 44. So that's like 89. And so we can probably take half. I don't know. I don't want to take half. So sh right click and then shift click. There we go. And then, oh, we need these. So you can take that. Yeah, I gotta get the iron ingots out of there. Have the rest. Okay. 
How are you doing there? You've only gone through 24 of those guys, huh? Well, we need you to do more. I don't have any more iron ore to give you. I keep pressing escape when I'm not supposed to. Okay, so I think I have 175, 20, and 20 cable. Let's go ahead and make the concrete. I think I already have that. I already have the concrete. Yeah, so we're going to drop the concrete in there. Uh, we need 100 plates. I don't have 100 plates quite yet. You took all the plates from me, sir. Which was annoying. Uh, 20 cable. So we can make 20 cable from the wire that we already have. And let's go ahead and drop that in there. Let's put the cable in. And I'm going to go make a run for concrete, for limestone. Um, but if I had miners, I could automate miners to the... Which is what I really want to do. I mean, there's only a couple products that come from ingots. You know, I, I guess I can line it up and, and do it. But it's just not... It doesn't seem like a very good... I guess the plates make the most sense. The reason why the plates make the most sense is you're manufacturing 30 iron ingots at a time. The plates consume 30 iron ingots to produce 15 iron plates a second. A minute, a minute, a minute. Everything's based on the minute. Grab all that. We need that. Okay, so we're going to head back. Grab that wood. That's useful. These creatures are harmless as far as I can tell. The giant ones that walk. You can hit them. They just run from you. They run faster than you can catch them. I don't think you can kill them. I'll probably grab some of the wood here. This isn't really that much wood. It's not really worth, you know, taking too much time to, to just as you run through it, just grab whatever you can. You know, hey, I got 30 wood. Yay. Let's grab some more leaves. You know, let's just clean up the area here. I think the leaves grow back. I'm not sure. I know that when I go back to copper after a while that they're growing back. Okay, so we're going to grab the iron. Grab all that iron. You want to keep these guys working. I don't like seeing them stopped because that means that everything's going to stop. Let's take and let's split this into stacks of 50. So right click and right click. Okay, actually it did 58. Whatever. Take the ingots. Take the ingots. I have lots of ingots now. now you can have all the ingots, sir. I'll take the plates. You can have your stack of 50 and I'll take your ingots and your stack of 42 and I'll take all your ingots. So I have lots and lots of iron ingots. Um, probably do want to hook up and connect with this guy. What I will do is I will tear him down and move him to the reverse constructor. We could have fit here. We're going to rotate that around. No, it's not missing cable because I deconstructed it. I just deconstructed that. Why did it not give me back all the resources? Whatever. Um, I don't have any reinforced plates. I got nothing from that deconstruction. Is it? Is it really? Is that really what happened? I got nothing from deconstructing it. Okay, fine. Whatever. I don't care. I will make the reinforced plates. I'm a, I'm a bigger man in this game sometimes, so I need three of those. So we'll do that. And then I'm going to need uh, 75 iron rods. Might as well do that right now. I got the plates. I almost have the plates. I don't have enough plates. Okay, and I think maybe I want to build two of these constructors. So six, six reinforced iron plates. And then now we need cable. Let's go ahead and do the copper ingots here. Let's just go ahead and drain that out. Inventory fills up really quick, so you use your chest, obviously. Uh, build some wire out of that. We're gonna need lots of cable. I'll just convert it all. Okay, let's go over here. Don't want that, or that, or that, or that, or that. I will hold on to the rest. Okay, so what I'm gonna do... Let's move these guys back as well. Do I get... If I deconstruct this first, I get one of those. 
I see what happened. Oh. That's what happened. It fell on the ground because it didn't have enough. Okay, so let's kind of move these smelters right here. I was upset because I thought it totally cheated me. I was like, why are you cheating me? That's not even fair. You stole my stuff. But it dropped it on the ground. It was all there. I was like, I have to recreate it. So let's go ahead and deconstruct this. The game was fair. I'm sorry. It's me that's broken, not the game. So far, that's the only thing that's happened, been happening is I've been finding out how I don't. Encroaching others clearance. There we go. Oh, I just realized that these guys can't. I'm going to line this guy up there next to him. And we'll move the smelter to line up with the other one. Okay, let's go ahead and move the smelter. This is the fun part. These things don't line up on their size. Come on, line. There it is. That's about as close as we're ever going to get. Let's go ahead and make the plates. I clicked three there if you're wondering why I did it so fast. And we are going to build plates. I can build the rods myself much faster in the crafting station. I've never had a problem creating rods. Okay, so I have already ingots. You can go ahead and get started. I need to wire up your uh, your power. And the way power works is really weird. It's weird. So I'm going to do this. I have one for this guy over here. Missing wire can't afford. I need wire. I probably need more copper, don't I? I need more copper. Yeah, let's go ahead and make this concrete. Just be doing with it. I'll try to pass this off, actually. And we need, uh, what else? Rods? Let's make some rods. I need 75 of them. All right, let's pass everything off. Um, might as well. The next level is much more interesting anyway. Uh, more plates, please. Uh, I'm out of plates. Okay. Well, in that case, let's go get the copper. Let's just set it up really quick. You know what? Actually, let's do this. Let's deconstruct these two guys. I have plenty of ingots. Okay. And I think next we can get the... Um, we can get the mining. Mining support. Mining is super important. So... Let's go get this guy. Once you get mining, then you can truly automate everything. And you can start building supply chains and stuff like that. Okay, so we are going to take... Grab all of that. We're actually going to pick this guy up because we don't have two more smelters for it. And it's kind of pointless. So we're going to open that up, pick up the miner... Hopefully we didn't leave anything behind. Nope. Okay. Now we're going to populate here. Let's throw the iron ore in there. Let's give you some iron ore as well. And we should be seeing plates being produced at a prodigious rate. And that's what we're actually waiting for. I'll just craft the flats plates. We need. We just need the 21 more. 21 more plates. We can build 240 if we wanted to because I have so many iron ingots. All right, we're done. Next upgrade. Shift click. How about we do that? No, we're missing cable. We need to make copper ingots cable. I thought I was going to get copper and I got distracted. Hold on, cable, we can make some cable. I could have put cable, I already had cable. Let's put the cable in now. There we go. Okay, this is level four. Level five is a little bit expensive. Congratulations. You can craft this by hand. It's not hard. Feature, additional biomass generator. Yeah, New I buildings, which can be found in the build yeah. menu. Would Ninth objective. Hub upgrade, molecular analysis. Note, to ensure full mastery of skills and equipment, I have been asked to not interfere with this last objective. Yeah. Good. Okay. So, um, we want to build these guys. We want to build... Uh, three, because we want to do the copper cable as well, and we have a smelter. We need another smelter. Let's go ahead and do that, and then we're gonna build copper cable. 
I don't know if we're gonna do copper wire. I don't know if we're gonna do copper cable. I know I, it's always plates that I always run short on because you're building belts with plates. I think that's fine. So we have a constructor, three miner, miners, a smelter, and a constructor. That should be good. Okay, so what does this require? I need portable miners. I got those. Don't worry about those. Iron rods. We need a bunch of iron rods. Let's make a bunch of those. I need more concrete. We need to make a concrete one. Uh, we need to make a copper run because I need the wire. I've got the reinforced plate, so let's go get the concrete. And I'll pass by and repopulate the iron ore as I go to the copper. So this is the annoying part of the game. It's so far away. I don't know what they expect. I, I'm going to build a factory on top of that lake. We're going to use Minecraft physics. That's what my kids all say. Oh, there's some more of those berries. I will take those berries. I will eat them eventually one day. Because I will eventually have to explore. Alright, so we take all that. You know, do I want to actually build a miner here? And the answer is yes, I do. Can I build the container? That's my question. Can I build? Yes, I can build containers. Okay. I actually want another miner. I want four miners. Two iron, one copper, one of the limestone. And then we're going to have another smelter for iron, another smelter for copper, another smelter for... So copper and... Con and no, we don't use smelters. We just use the constructor. So we'll build another constructor. That's my goal. And then lots of belts. Which just require iron, with iron plates, you know. So let's make sure we're making lots of iron plates. When I, when I first played this game, I was under the assumption that when you were upgrading your factory, your little hub there, you weren't actually consuming the resources. Like they were telling you to build stuff just so you have it, but no, it's consuming it. That was annoying. That did not make me very happy. I was sad. Okay, we're actually gonna pick you up because we're gonna build a miner with you eventually. And then we'll throw all the ore we can into there. And all the ore we can into there. We'll grab the iron plates because we need it. That's 70 from there. And actually, let's go ahead and do this. Let's put ingots. I don't ha need to have this many ingots. So I'm going to dump them into this system here. I think 300 ingots is plenty for what I intend to do. Now let's go get the copper. Wait, I can think I can build... I'm going to see if I can actually build what I want to build. So I'm going to make the concrete here. And I, I have... I think everything but the wire... I'll come back to build the reinforced iron plate later. So um, what am I thinking? How's my power? How much power can I... Oh, there we go. We have a second biomass burner. That's good. Let's go ahead and take the biomass out of there. Let's take all the biomass out. Let's put... Uh, Hello, doggo. What are you doing over here, man? What the... That was weird. I don't normally see doggo climbing around my base. I thought I had leaves or something. I guess I don't. Okay, so we're going to go over here. Throw in your... That. Let's make sure you have plenty. You, you're just burning a hole through that stuff, which is fine. I'm going to actually set up another power pole here, which I know is consuming valuable resources. We're going to cut this wire here. We're going to reconnect it to this one. And again, these things reach pretty far. They're pretty amazing. And actually, I want another one here. Uh, this one here is going to be like... I, I need more iron copper wire. I'm not going to be able to do anything without copper wire. Let's go grab the copper. We'll pick up the miner as well. We shall pick it up. How's my inventory? I have plenty of space inventory, like four more spaces. Okay. Okay, we'll pick you up. Okay, so now we have... 
to make wire and reinforced plate. We'll go back and do that, and then we'll build the... I think it's almost time to wrap up this episode. We're almost at the hour mark. Yes, it is. So we're going to build the copper wire, and I'm debating whether to make copper cable as well, because copper wire is useful, but it's very easy to make. Copper cable is even more useful. I'll probably... You know, let's just, let's just do it. Let's build one more of these guys. So we need a bunch of copper ingots, obviously. So let's go ahead and smelt those. Um, how much wire? We're going to need a lot of wire. We'll just make a bunch. A bunch. Almost done. I, I don't know. Let's just stop there. That's probably fine. How much cable do I have? 32. That should be enough. I think that should be enough. That should be fine. We'll hold off on the copper wire. Should be enough to get us going. Um, I do want to make more reinforced plates. And I think I have... And then we're going to make six. There we go. There's six. Okay. So we have everything. We have everything. So let's start by setting up the miners here. So we're going to make the miner mark one. And you know what? I actually want you to rotate more towards this guy. This is probably a good orientation. Take the conveyor belt. And slot there it just connects right up we're gonna set up a power pole here we're gonna wire that to this guy here now he's full this guy's gonna wire to there and also we're gonna set up another miner watch out doggo watch out dogger uh, we're gonna set up a miner over here to get a second guy running use press three and these conveyor belts go a ridiculous distance as well there we go and then we're gonna actually yeah, I will connect this guy over there. And we're just going to be very limited in what kind of thing we use. We'll just go as far as we can until it says wire is too long. I'll probably try to hug the edge here. I think it's better. Wire is too long. Go back until it's not. Come on. Really? Okay. I'm going to go over here. Uh, when I put the belts down wherever I wanted to, I ended up like having to jump over them all the time. I'm going to use the philosophy of moving the belts to the side. This guy's too long. That. Okay, we'll build the miner drill. Miner. And this guy, there's, where is it? It's right there. Missing iron rod. I thought I had plenty of iron rod. I guess I didn't. Let's go back and do that really quick. I thought I had plenty. I thought I had plenty. Oh, I do want to build actually some of these organization, organizational containers. So, um, plate, rod, four of them. Yeah, we're gonna, you have to change some things. Actually, I've decided that I do not want, uh, do not want these uh, to make this, this will make uh, for me iron rod. I'm just, I'm gonna have plenty of time. So I need some iron rods, make a couple of bunch of iron rods. Let's do a full stack here, because we're gonna need a bunch of these. And that's it, okay. So I do want to build the storage. I'll just rotate it around and put it on the side. No, press three. Okay, yeah, we need storage chests to store things. Mm -hmm. Storage container, same deal. Yeah, I don't want to line up with the base. Please stop it. Just do it manually. Just eyeball it. That looks good. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. Um, we'll do the same thing. How many iron plates do I have? 100. I need more. 
Is there actually more in this assembly thing? Yeah, 69, dude. Gotta take that. I'll take all of those plates. Alright. Five minutes left. Five minutes left. Run, run, run. And I think I can probably just bang out at the workbench all of these. Oh, I should have brought power. I did not bring power. Um, so, what I will do, let's actually use this guy. I think there's a good spot. Oh, again, I wanted to hug. Let's actually do that. I want to hug the wall. There you go, right there. This guy. And then hug it to the wall. And then keep the conveyor belts close to the wall as well. And then we'll build the mining machine. Oh, we have to get this guy out of the ground here. Um, great, I messed up. Uh, so we'll put a box here just to temporarily hold things and store it all. Okay, go over here. Let's take that. Everything but the ore. I don't know what I need. Um, Cable, wire, I don't know what. I should not walk around without that. Okay, there we go. So, I assume that's what I need. Missing concrete. I need concrete too. So grab the concrete. There we go. That seems as good a place as any. And, uh... We'll put the assembling machine here. The constructor. Missing reinforced plate. I can grab that. Actually, I bet you I can just deconstruct this and everything will fit. Yeah. Okay. Everything will fit. So we're going to build the constructor. Right. And try to line this up. Is it? Is it right there? It's lined up. That's as good as it's going to get. Um, I think we do need to get closer here. No, we don't. We're gonna save a little bit of resources here. Let's connect up this guy and that guy. Now I'm gonna bring this guy close to base. So let's see how many plates we have. <laughs> oh, these only go so far. They go really far. They go really far. I'll try to line that up visually as best I can, which is, I think this is good. We want to put it right there. Gonna run. We can go over this rock, but I don't want to. I think it looks tacky. set up a box here, a storage box, to hold all of the concrete we're going to build, which is going to be a ridiculous amount. There we go. I'm going to take three, if I can find where it is, right there. There we go. We're going to make all this concrete. Okay, so that's concrete, that's plates. That's rods. I'm going to move my hub. It's too close to everything. I need some, some more room. And then we're going to do the copper now. Oh, we're missing cable. We're missing cable. We need cable. Right, we are missing cable. I already built a constructor. Why does it say two more? 
I don't know why. For power as well. We need some more iron. Or wire. At the one hour mark. I can't believe I got this far. Let's go finish off the copper. I might have been able to do more if I just planned my trips a little better. I am not complaining. In this case, I'm going to bring the ore down to the edge of my base because I I don't plan on going out this far anymore. There's only one resource out here that I need, and that's copper. I don't plan on coming out this far for it. So let's go to build our, not copper, coal. What am I saying, man? I'm crazy. Let's have this. Yeah, that's good enough. We need to connect up the power. And let's go ahead and just run that conveyor belt right past this rock. And continue that out. We're going to run it right here. Just try to keep it hugging the... Hugging the edge where I'm not going to walk. I like to walk in the middle of things, right? So everybody likes to walk in the middle of things. Let's we'll go ahead and take this and look at what it looks like. It's a little bit... It should be a little bit better. But that's about as good as you're going to get. And this is about as far as I want to come, actually. So let's go ahead and grab that leaves. So we're going to make our smelter. And we're going to try to line that up as best we can. With... No, not with that. I think that's as good as it's going to get. And then we're going to have our assembling machine. I'm sorry, I'm using factorial terminology. I'm going to line that up as best as we can get it. And do I want to have copper cables separate? I think, I think yeah. So we're at this point, we're just going to put a storage chest. Storage container. And line that up as best as we can with the assembling machine. Uh, wire everything up with the conveyor belts. Okay, you're going to make copper ingot. And by the way, I have some copper for you. You can take it. You're going to make wire. You should be good. Do I have any copper ingots I want to give you? I don't see any. Okay, and then we're going to wire you guys all up. So, do do do. We're just doing it quickly to get things working. Uh, and we have to wire up, obviously, the ore. Why is the ore not here yet? It's just taking its time because it's a slow bell. This belts, these belts do 60 items per second. 60 items per minute. I'm sorry. I'm thinking seconds. Really, if you hear a quantity, it's minutes. All right, let's go ahead and pass things off. So 130 of these guys, 150. I got 150. I'm going to need 500 um, copper cable, 150 plates. I think I already got 150. Nope. I have 20. Well, now I have 160. That's good to go. Now we just need the copper cable. What I'm going to do is actually the ore is in. So I'm going to steal the ore, take the ore from you, and deprive you of the opportunity to do that for me. I will take these ingots too. I will take all that wire. This guy is actually going to have a backlog of ingots. Until we can get splitters, though, you're not doing much. You just can only set up straight lines. You go from the thing to the thing. So that's why you do the thing all that in there and I shot it thought I put that in there. there we go there we go and now we just need 500 wire I've got a hundred already so just watch me click this button while we wrap it up here and what I'll do is after this session I'm gonna take a 10 minute 10 15 20 minute video and go through what I did and kind of cover like some of the math and logic behind everything I'm doing. Wow, this is going to take a while to get all this copper cable. And uh, just the theory behind everything, right? Like why I'm doing things. I tried, I tried to explain during the video, but I'll probably go into a little bit of the math and everything like that too to explain what is going on. So uh, concrete, I'm, I'm waiting. I'm, I'm not going to be able to do anything anyway. Let's go ahead and just do this concrete while we're waiting never have enough concrete okay so we have only like 200 279 we're about halfway there with the iron the copper cable if we'd already set it up we'd be done, done by now let's go ahead and take this guy actually you know what we forgot to do 
No, that's fine. That's all wired up. Everything's working. Everything's fully automated at this point, except for copper cable. Just the copper wires being done. I'll take those ingots from you. You're not using them. And I'll take that ore that you're not using. Okay. And you probably made some more in the meantime. Yeah, you did. Okay. I'm going to go craft it while you guys do your thing, because I'm, I'm impatient. That's how you do this game. You, unfortunately, spend a lot of time crafting. So we have 340. We just need 160 more. I should be able to reach it with what I have on hand. And until we get splitters, there's really no... Nothing else that I can do. You know, I'm just going to go ahead and see this. I'll have to do the copper more sometime. All right, and 500 win. There's 500. Okay, so we can go ahead and do the final layer there. Upgrade the hub. And at this point, we basically completed phase one of the game, which is like the introductory phase. Congratulations. Um, of note, hub feature, and this is important. Analysis machine, also you get this. The MAM. the MAM. Building biomass burner. Building space elevator. Mm -hmm. Equipment. So we can build biomass burners to increase the power. I believe we can craft gas, biofuel. Is that not something we can do yet? I don't know when biofuel happens. Let me take a look. I think it's, maybe it's, yeah, this one's biofuel. That's, you wanna get that as soon as you can to minimize how much. I'm just gonna mark that as the next milestone. Uh, we'll talk more about why biofuel should be your first thing and then splitters would be your next thing. So we're gonna do some research while we wait. Um, the research that I want to do is on let's do the carapace alien carapace so we go over here to this guy we select alien carapace and i'm going to shift click this guy in there and that and about seven minutes later it's going to come up with a result uh you could build your space elevator at this time i don't think that's necessary uh i'll explain why next episode but i think this is a pretty good point to take a break kind of surveil everything and then talk about next steps. Anyway, guys, uh, we should go through the new buildings we got as well. So uh, space elevator, obviously. And the other one you got is now you can biomass burner. So we can increase the power supply from our 40 megawatts, I believe. Each one of these guys is doing 20. Yeah, each one of these guys is doing 20. Um, so we can go from 40 to whatever we need. And frankly, I got all the way up to coal and I wasn't too excited about that. So we do need some more biofuel. We're kind of running short on the biofuels. Let me go ahead and top this guy off. Generally, I just wait until it's all gone. And then I call it a day. That's good enough for me. What is this? Biomass. Yeah, so that's all topped off. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for watching this first episode of uh, Satisfactory. As you can tell, I I'm, I'm, think I'm going to get deep into this game. I think this is something that I'm going to be doing a lot of. Why are we not making concrete? Because I forgot to do something, didn't I? You guys have probably already typed out comments like, Oh, you forgot to turn it on. Yeah, I did. I did. I forgot. This is something that you want to have running constantly. By the time you need a ton of concrete, it will be there for you. you know, so let's go over here and tell it to make concrete, please. There we go. Here comes the limestone into the machine. It don't... And we exhausted the power. We have exceeded the power that our factory can do. Uh, we do need to have another biomass burner. This is why biofuel is the first thing you want to get to. So um, our factory is shut down because it uses too much power. It uses more than the 40 megawatts. And I'm going to show you a little trick to get it running again. So you take one of your little things and you say, hey, you know what? Uh, we don't need this smelter. So we're going to turn the smelter off on standby. I'm going to go to one of the power things and sure enough. Oh, come on. Really? Really? Okay, I guess that's what it's going to do today. So, because I have plenty of iron ingots. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, we're going to turn these miners off too then. You guys are off. I don't need you guys. Not right now. I've got plenty of iron on hand. Until we build another biomass burner, which I'm probably gonna build two of them, just double the power supply each time. There we go. 
There we go. Alright. Things are back to normal. Things are back to normal. I'm happy. I'm happy. We should have plenty of iron ingots to go around. Yeah, we have plenty. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Next time, we're probably going to try to get up through tier 1 and 2. Maybe at least tier 1. We'll see what happens. Um, I'll go through. We'll start to expand the factory. Start to build the base to build the factory on. Take care. Bye-bye, everybody.